Hi everybody and welcome to the vlog. I've just realised this is the second season of Mini Bus Adventures. So welcome to the second season. This is the entrance to Oyster Harbour and it's called Emu Point. And as we come through the entrance, you can see out into King George Sand and Middleton Beach. The coffee shop and the tea rooms just going off to the left. And here you can see the kids beach all the way out to the swimming platform. And way up in the distance there is the harbour itself. Oyster Harbour is where the King River and the Calgon River enter into the ocean. A small group of fishing vessels use the Oyster Harbour as their home port. Inu Point is just a short four kilometre drive from the city of Albany. The Albany town site is just over that range of hills that you can see top right of the picture. And just out to the top left swinging round now is the entrance to Albany Harbour. The turn off to the National Anzac Centre in Albany is just here on Marine Drive as we're heading into town. We won't do the trip in there today as it's an all day thing. It's a massive area of memorabilia and remembrance for the Australian New Zealand um, troops. We'll take you today down through the historic precinct of Albany. Some of the buildings are from the 1800s. It really looks like I'm travelling very quick and this is only a 50 km speed limit and I'm under the limit. You'll also notice the architecture here. A lot of old houses have been replaced with new, more modern buildings. I must admit I prefer the older style architecture than the newer ones. You can see now that we're getting very close to the town and nestled here between the hills. The harbour is off to the left and would be heading towards Perth if you turn right. York Street is straight ahead and is the main street that runs through the town of Albany. But we'll take a right here and we'll head from the top of York Street to come down the hill. Yes, roundabouts are very popular in Albany and after several attempts to put traffic lights in the town it's always been rejected by the people of Albany. main shopping centre just ahead disappearing off to the right change of mind uh, we would turn left here to go down York Street I'll take you just a bit of a drive along Albany Highway and we'll do a U-turn and come back and then head down
just coming up to the turn off to the plaza shopping center which has all the usual stores here um Woolworths, targets and the like and of course coming up to the golden arches on the right uh, every town has one. Oh, we now have two. And just coming up on the right is Jack's favourite store, the doggy shop. He goes in there, he's been in there once for a wash, and then he heads last night. The only thing I like about Macca's is the ice cream but I must admit we go in at least once a year just to remind us why we don't go in. Hungry Jack's is our place or um, what do you call it? Burger King I think in the US. Okay we're heading back to the roundabout top of York Street and we'll drive down York Street and then head out towards the harbour and then we'll see how much time we've got left and what we're doing. So we're just turning on to York Street, the main street in town. I think I forgot to mention that the main street we just turned off is Albany Highway and Albany Highway runs 400 kilometres from Albany to Perth which is the capital of WA. The top of York Street here is mainly banks, uh, real estate, the older part of town is a little bit further down the hill and that's more coffee shop and more tourist shops. Just coming up on the right is the brand new Albany Visitor Centre and it's connected to the Albany Library. The building you can see on the right is the Albany Town Hall and plans were commenced in 1882. The building wasn't finished until 1888. Up on the corner here on the left has just been refurbished after a mysterious fire. Traffic's not too bad today, sometimes it can be horrendous. Scott's Church, just on the left here. And St John's Anglican Church, hiding in the trees there. We'll have a closer look at that as we come back up the street. Oh, did I mention the roundabout? Now we're heading down close to the bottom of York Street. The harbour is just straight ahead. You can see the architecture has changed and the buildings are a lot older. A lot of these buildings were originally banks, post offices and things like that back in the day. Woohoo! Parking spot! I'll leave Jack parked in the van while I have a bit of a wander with the GoPro and the camera. Beautiful old buildings down this end of town. The plaque on the wall down here says 
Albany House. It doesn't give any more information. I have included a few links in the description below. One of them is for the Albany Historical Centre. So maybe that will um, shine some light on things. Just love the old buildings here with the um, verandas built on top of the uh, awnings. As promised, St John's Anglican Church and the old priory at the back of the church. We'll have a bit of a wander around and I'll try not to talk. How's that? Pity the wind was a bit noisy. The sounds of the birds um, whistling was incredible. I thought I'd find a quiet spot just on this corner and sit and have a chat with you. It didn't work out really well. I'm just having a bit of a look around Albany. See the old church behind me. And the other way, it's really right, you can have a look. It's down to the harbour. Yeah, it's a nice sunny day, uh, 25 I think it is today, 25.30, oh, 25 I think it was. Bit of a mix of everything here, old with the new, the new with the ultra modern, uh, a bit of everything. Oh, we'll head back to the car, Jack's stuck in the bus, so we'll um, head back to the car and we'll head off somewhere else and get some more videos. See you later. I wasn't going to use this bit of video, but I thought it gives you a different perspective. It's looking out of the driver's side window uh, and you get glimpses in the mirror of the past.
You'll see a lot of these granite boulders just sticking up out of the ground. These are a couple of smaller ones. They're just too hard to remove. It's the only place I know that has a main road that runs through a cemetery. Trust me when I say it looks exactly the same on the other side of the road too. Come on, you've got to believe me. Ah, my old working place, Albany Primary School. Pushed lots of lawnmowers and whippersnippers around here. Well, we hope you enjoyed our little video, the first one of Albany. There will be a lot more of the uh, local area, including the architecture and the old churches. So please remember to like and subscribe. I've also been asked to get more videos and photos of Jack, so that'll be happening in the future too. Hi everybody, Jack and Steve here. We'd just like to thank you all for watching. And um, just remember, please subscribe and we'll, you'll get messages when the next video's got. Isn't that right? Yes.